Topping your entertainment news, kicking off with our Jimmy Kimmel recap. Last night, Kimmel was joined by Liam Nielsen for the Taken trilogy, and of course, Kimmel has to give the film a spoof. And Leon can Nielsen or Brian Mills retrieve Guillermo's prized possession? Check it out. Let's find out. Your skills. Excuse me. You said you have a particular set of skills. What are the skills? Um, weapons training, shooting. Those are kind of the same thing. What else? Uh, juggling, horseback riding, origami. <laughs> Gotta nice. love it. I love those spoofs. <laughs> He's so funny. You know, I saw Jimmy Kimmel a couple times live before. When he didn't have LA. those eyebrows, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Was he good though? I, I wish I yeah. could see some late night performers. They'd be fun to see, I think. Yeah, they yeah. are. It just gives you a different kind of feel for it. It's like the sets are always so much smaller than you think they oh, are really? on TV. Everything yeah, kind of like it here. It's, it's a smaller environment in here. But again, uh, always, we'll just watch them on TV then. Yeah. That sound. Yep. All right. And remember, you can catch Jimmy Kimmel every weeknight at 1135 right here on WTXL. And for some other entertainment news this morning, it's the second biggest night in Hollywood. That's right. Talking about the 2015 Academy Awards, also known as the Oscars, of course, and the show honors the top films of the past year. So who will make the cut? Last night, CNN released its predictions up for Best Picture, Boyhood, Birdman, The Grand Budapest Hotel, and Selma. And for Best Actor or Actress, Jake Gyllenhaal, Michael Keaton, just to name a couple, and Julianne and Emily Blunt. The Oscars premiere next month on the 22nd right here on ABC. And of course, the awards season wouldn't be complete without the Razzies. <laughs> They're coming in as well. Uh, the Golden Raspberry Award nominations have been announced. If you don't know what the Razzies are, they honor Hollywood's worst performances of the past year. Michael Bay leading the pack, pulling seven noms, including worst picture for, yeah, look at that, uh, Transformers Age of Extinction. I didn't end up seeing that movie, but hey, if it makes money, I'm sure Michael Bay is happy yeah. with his completion of that movie. I saw the first one. I mean, yeah, but now it's like, what, the fifth? Yeah. So I can see why it's going to be nominated for these joke awards. All right. And Saturday Night Live fans, listen up. Set those DVRs. VH1 Classic is bringing back the glory days of Adam Sandler, John Belushi, and Tina Fey as Sarah Palin. Beginning January 28th, the network will air select episodes in reverse order as part of a 19-day mega marathon. The wow. event leads into SNL's three-hour 40th anniversary special that's airing February 15th. Gotta set those DVRs. Yeah, for sure. I like SNL. 